Hey everyone, Luis here. Uh, I'm back and this time is for another resin review and for this review uh, I'm going to talk about the Isan e-resin PLA Pro, okay? This uh, resin was kindly sent uh, to me by, by Isan and uh, they sent me to just to test and give my opinion on it but this is entirely my opinion, it's not <laughs> a sponsored video or anything like that uh, but uh, stay with me and I'm going to talk about this, uh, this resin, okay? So, as I said, uh, this is uh, the E-Sun, the E-Resin, or I think it, it, it fits on the category of the uh, plant-based, eco-friendly uh, resins from um, E-Sun. Uh, this is uh, what they call PLA Pro and uh, starting to talk about the characteristics of the, the resin. This resin, uh, they, they uh, claim it to be uh, proper or specific for mono screen uh, printers. So this is a, a good thing. I have only mono screen printers today. And, and yes, I do not see any residue on the, on the screen when I, I, I print, because I, I, I've experienced that with other resins when printing on mono screens, that sometimes you have like, that semi-cured resin uh, spots on the, on the screen in parts that you do not have a model uh, printing but with this this resin I did not have any any problem with like that it just print perfectly fine with those those printers and this I think this is a good aspect for uh, of, of this this resin and uh, spoiler alert, just saying, I'm, I, I think this resin is one of my, my favorite resins, I think, uh, today. Um, that, that's so true that I bought like tons of this uh, resin to start to use it here um, in my, my works, in, my, in the things that I, I print here for, for me and also some commission, okay? This is really an amazing resin and Sanders has always a very good job on the packaging. They sent it on, the, on this aluminum bottle which is super resistant, right? And it also comes super uh, well packaged, as you can see here. It comes with the plastic bubble plus the box, the plastic bubble plus the, the plastic uh, bag in case that something just uh, some some of the resin leak from the from the bottle so it, it, it you not have problem to have everything spilled with with it okay so sn has always do, does a very good job on the on the packaging in terms of pricing this resin it's around that's another very good thing about this resin okay it's a very very good cost benefit for for this resin and I've tested here tons of resins. You can see I, I, some of those are, I do reviews, others I just use here, but I never done review, but I, I, I have tons of, of resins here. And this one is one of the best uh, cost benefits that uh, I have here, definitely. It's around 33 euros per liter, liter or something like that. 30, I think 35 uh, euros per, per liter, uh, but you can sometimes find some, some sale, some uh, promotion that they, they give uh, some discount on that. But I think this is, this is a very good price for, for this resin, especially because uh, it's, a, it's a good resin in terms of color. Um, talking again about characteristics, one thing that I love about this resin is, is the color. It's, it's, it's gray, but it's more uh, on a navy blue gray or something like that. Probably close to what you have on the Siraya uh, Tech resin that people love to use. But it's very hard for us here in Europe to get the, the Siraya uh, fast uh, navy blue or navy gray or something like that. This, is, uh, this has this, this, this color that I really, really enjoy. Um, I will try to post here a picture showing uh, uh, prints with different colors of resin just for you to, to have an idea. 
we always have this more light gray we have this very dark gray and this is in somewhere in between the, the light and the, the dark. It's more in, in more on the bluish side. So I really enjoy the, the color. Uh, another thing is the, the in terms of uh, retention of details. Um, I printed this Arnold Schwarzenegger boost here. I will show some close up pictures, but it came out amazingly, yeah, as you can see. I printed on my uh, longer for orange 4k and i can see all the wrinkles all the the details of the face uh, and and it holds the details very very well uh, i really enjoy that i printed this uh, sauron here but i i, I primed it already but the all the details is there uh, i don't know if i have pictures of it uh, before prime if i have i will post here for you for you guys to see but it's uh, it's amazing the the how how well it came out. Um, I have these jinx here, and even for very small uh, minis, uh, it does a very very good job. I I simply fall in love with these these resin in terms of precision. Another thing that I really enjoyed about this resin is the resistance. It's not super strong but also it's not brittle so i think it's in the middle term uh, uh, between the tough resin and the regular resin so i will try to do some drop tests uh, if i can maybe with one of those minis here for for us to see if it uh, can hold uh, some punishment but uh, in general i did not have problem with any of my prints breaking or having problems to be brittle or anything like that. Only print that it has a, a very good resistance. It can go very, very far before it start to break and it has some uh, flexibility. It's not entirely uh, brittle or, or completely solid. I think it has this uh, flexibility that it allows it to be more resistant. So it's something that also um, I really liked and that's why probably this is one of my, my favorite resins uh, in the market nowadays in terms of cost benefit. I'm, uh, I'm using this print this resin on four printers today. Uh, I have the Creality Halot Light, the, the Halot Sky, Nova Bene 4 and uh, the longer Orange 4K. I will try to post here the the settings that I'm using but have in mind that this is those are my settings okay you can use it as a baseline but it all depends on uh, how your machine machines are configured uh, if you have the, the temperature on, on your room and things like that so you can use it as a baseline but please <laughs> do not uh, uh, complain if, if not works for you okay what I suggest always is to is for you to print the tests. This, this test here, I will post the link on the description, is from the Siraya uh, Tech uh, web, web, website. They, they, they uh, give it for anyone to, to print and use on, on tests. I used it and it's just perfect. And the one that I think, um, I think everyone knows is the Amera Labs also. So, yeah print your test see if it works for you and if it works great uh, go ahead and, and, and use it uh, another feature that i also liked is about the the consistency of the the print the the resin it's not uh it's not super liquid but also it's not very thick uh, resin it's a uh, it's again another middle term i would try also to post some video here showing the, the consistency of the uh, of the resin but it works uh, very well uh, on, on all these four printers that I've, I've used here and I think one of my favorite uh, features of this resin is the low water this has, resin has really 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 <laughs> I, I think I, I, I cannot say really uh, enough to just say that it's very very really really low order for for this resin almost none 
Um, of course, it, it all depends on, on each person's sensibility to, to, to others, but for me, it's very good. It, it has very, very uh, low odor. Um, it not uh, bothered me at all. Uh, of course, I do not print all the, and, and stay at the at the, at the room uh, all the time. But uh, but even when I leave the, the printers working, go out and get back to to the room, uh, I do not feel any any odor or anything like that. So I, I believe many of many people that has more uh, sensibility for for this this kind of thing will will love this resin. Okay. So yeah, um, in, uh, I think my, my final thoughts is it's a very good resin in terms of uh, whole details and, and precision of the, of the models. It works great on mono screens. Uh, it's a, a very, very low order resin and the best of all, uh, it has a very good price. So um, I really recommend it if you can buy and test and try it. Um, I'm pretty sure you are going to, to like it. And if you do not like, I would like to hear why. So leave your, your comments here if you like, if you don't, don't, don't like the, the resin, if you try it, okay? So uh, Merry Christmas for, for everyone and Happy Holidays. Uh, I hope we can uh, have a lot of uh, good videos in the next year and, and, and a lot of good advancements in the 3D print world for us to keep talking and discussing here, okay? Thank you very much, see you next time, bye.